Hi students, welcome back to the today's class. Today we are going to continue the same topic that is summary writing. Summary writing. Let's recall what is a summary. In our previous class we have studied what is a summary, how to write a summary and steps to be followed while writing a summary. A summary is a brief statement or account of the main points. So what is a summary? It is nothing a brief statement that means a short passage. Whatever the topic is, the passage is, we are going to write it in a short form, the shortened form of the passage. So while writing a summary, you should keep in mind certain steps. So the first and foremost thing is you should read the question. Read the question carefully and understand what it is trying you to ask. Then read the passage, start reading the passage. Then you will already have a clear idea what the question is about. So when you read the passage, it will become easy for you. Then the third point is find relevant information. Means whatever the information related to the question, find that important information only. Unnecessary details you should must avoid. We are not supposed to include unnecessary details. After finding all the information, make notes on it. Make the notes and then write the summary. As I told you, the notes and all, it should not be lengthy quotations or big descriptions and all. Just small phrases or clauses. Whatever the topic is, based on that question, you find the information related to it. Is it clear now? So these are the steps in writing a summary. In this video, we are going to do one more summary writing. Okay. All of you look at the screen now. Read the passage carefully. Read this extract from a report on a school project and make notes on the methods which the students intend to use to raise awareness and involve the community in solving the pollution problem. So what is the question over here? You have to find out the methods which the students are using to bring awareness and how involving the community in solving the pollution problem. Let's just start reading the passage. This project is trying to make our school community aware that the main cause of pollution of the river that passes in front of our school is the garbage that students and the surrounding community throw into it. At the same time, we want to involve our community in the solving of this problem by making people aware of the importance of our water resources and participating in a cleanup and orientation program. The overall plan will involve five phases. In the first phase, our students will survey the community to find out how aware people are of the pollution problem or if they think there is no problem at all. In the second phase, we will involve the school community in a cleanup project in which we will collect data on the type and amount of gar garbage collected to pinpoint where that garbage might come from and who could be responsible. Then we will chart our data and show our findings to the community. In the third phase, we will be looking for solutions and educating the community. Students will draw and write environmental messages on containers which will be used as trash cans. These will be placed in specific places where people gather garbage is thrown into the river. Phase 4 will involve designing brochures to hand out to the community about the importance of our rivers so we can become part of the solution instead of part of the problem. Finally. Phase 5 will involve showing the whole community our findings and solutions to the problem by giving lectures about the importance of our rivers to make everyone aware of how we are all part of the solution and part of our school environmental organization called the River Watchers. Okay, now we have finished reading the question. Sorry, the passage. So now let's move, go back to the question, what it is asking us to do. So what is the question? Make notes on the methods which the students intend to use to raise awareness and involve the community in solving the pollution problem. Look at the screen. There are over there sometimes in the papers, question papers and all, they will be giving 6 points, 8 points, 10 points. But not necessary that all the points will be included in the, uh, I mean all the points will be available in the passage. So here it is 6 points but we have read, just now read the passage where there are only 5 faces over there. So we have to take only five. So don't get confused or don't get tensed up when you see six points. Oh, I need to find out the six and you will insert some point which is irrelevant. If you add something extra, you remember that your marks will be cut. Okay. 
how much how many points you can find out specify only that many points unnecessary don't include if there are points available in the passage yes you can include it but clearly in this passage we know there are only five phases so we have to write down five phases five phases only okay look at the passage again we can clearly see from the passage that we have five phases so those are the five points which we need to write but see the amount of information given over there a lot of information is irrelevant to us or it is um, like extended in more complex types of sentences so we need to just to pick out the main phrases or the clauses from this one so look at the what is the first phase i have highlighted already over here survey the community to find out how aware people are of the pollution problem so what is the first thing survey the community to find out how people are aware of the pollution problem now let's find out the second point that is the second phase i have already uh, highlighted the phrase or the clause involve the school community in a cleanup project collect data on the type and amount of garbage collected collect over here it means collecting data okay so here you can see instead of uh, so a lot of information is again uh, irrelevant over here so i have just taken only the brief uh, point that is which is important to it the third point that is the third phase look at the screen all of you i have again highlighted the uh, phrase or the clause looking for solution and educating the community see here again we need the uh, more information how we can educate the uh, community that is draw and write environmental messages on containers so only uh, the brief point which is linked to that uh, point phase i have used it okay that is our third point the fourth phase that is the fourth point involve design brochures to hand out to the community about the importance of our rivers so what is the fourth point designing brochures and uh, distributing distributing it to the community about the importance of our rivers that is our fourth point now see the fifth point that is the last point last phase over here showing the whole community our findings and solutions to the problem by giving lectures so this is the final point in the end so how what it is already highlighted showing the whole community our findings and solutions by giving lectures now we have found out all the five points or the five phases so let's start writing the notes remember i told you clearly you you can either write the same ones what you have underlined in the uh, passage or else you can change the sentences but make sure that the meaning stays the same see i have done some changes over here while writing the sentences survey the first point is survey the community about the people's awareness of the pollution the second point involves school community in cleanup project see i have put dash that is the extra point linked to it collect data on type and amount of garbage look for solutions and educate the community again extra information dash draw and write environmental messages on containers design brochures about the importance of rivers for the community then the last uh, point is show the findings and solutions through lectures to the community so these are the five methods or the phases which the students use to raise intend to use to raise awareness among the community after writing the main points we have finished now let's start writing a summary make sure see all of you, you your summary should be within 50 words okay it can be between 49 to 51 don't exceed too high or too low as I told you, the starting introduction should not be given like I am going to write this, this. No, nothing should be included. But look here on the screen. I have included because these are the uh, different points or phases which you are going to write. So I have just included additional one simple sentence. You can write such a way. There are many methods for creating pollution awareness. And then I have used linking words. Look at this firstly, secondly, thirdly, finally. So you can use this way instead of using first phase the second phase there's two words so the word limit will exceed so try uh, use a simple words over here sure firstly survey the community to find out their knowledge secondly involve school community in cleanup project on garbage collected thirdly look for solutions and educate them through environmental messages 
finally design brochures on importance of rivers and give lectures to the community so these are all the five points five phases i have clubbed them together within 50 words see some of the extra information is there which i have just skipped it when you look at this uh, uh, summary you will get a clear idea what the writer is trying to say so this is how you're supposed to write the summary here look at the screen all of you the cleanup project clean up it is considered as one word and listen carefully in a summary writing the comma and the full stop is not counted okay so don't start counting the comma the full stop and all no only the words are counted so that should be within 50 words okay i hope now you have understood how to write a summary again with the second example is more helpful for you if you have any doubt